This is my 1906 William L. Gilbert kitchen clock, Navy number 24, or probably a different name for it. 1906 was was in the Edwardian era of this clock, and this is a kitchen clock, by the way, so. These clocks are used in the kitchen way back in the Victorian Edwardian era. So they're popular, way, they're really popular way back then. And for antique clock collectors, they're popular to this day. And this is one of the American clock clocks they have in America. All of this nice detailed on this clock, which is, and this is not hand carved. This is actually got stamped by a, a machine in the factory of William L. Gilbert um, Clock Company way back in 1906, but the glass is actually handwritten, or not handwritten, um, but probably reverse um, printed um, paint or something. But you see this right here in the middle of the dial of the clock is actually a alarm clock, which is, here's a little, um, which is, I'm gonna open this right by my, this is actually a, a, another movement which is has a um, bell to make it go off to see what time is it. This is what it sounds like. But that's what the bell sounds like. Um, that's what time is um, what time is it you want to wake up. Um, so this clock is actually for a bedroom. Matter of fact, this clock is actually perfect for a bedroom. Actually, so it's part kitchen, part bedroom clock, which, about, which is way back in the Victorian Edwardian era. Um, at the time, which is um, for lower class um, or working classes people, which is considered as um, lower classes. Um, they most likely sleep in kitchens um, in the winter, so because they don't have extra bedrooms way back then. And some of the houses are really small, but in the Victorian era, so they most... For the lower class people, they most likely sleep in the kitchen in the winter time so they can actually, you know, get warm or something. Something like that, where they don't have an extra bedroom. I don't know, but that's probably what, I guess, um, what this clock used for, for the bedroom or something. But like, like what I'm saying, though, which is the, which is people can sleep, slept in kitchens way back then, um, in the Victorian Edwardian era for the working class, that they don't have extra bedroom. But anyway, I paid this clock for um, one hundred forty, um, one hundred thirty nine bucks, which is almost closer to one hundred forty. At my local antique, um, my local antique store here in town, which is I bought this last year. Yeah, a year ago I bought this, and this is what it um sounds like. Yeah, this is what a TikTok sounds like. Most likely it's out of B and needs a B and B, so that's why I stopped it. Needs more and beat. That's why I keep stopping. But anyway, this is what it um it sounds like on the gong though. This is a half hour. And this is what it looks like. This is what it sounds like. Not looks like. Um, sound like on the hour. Ain't that a beautiful sound on a kitchen clock? Really nice. Pretty much say I will show you what it looks like on top. And that's what it looks like. Which is so funny that it has a hanger right here. So most likely the previous owner who owned this clock got you hang it up on the wall. Which is it's not a wall clock actually. It's actually set on the mantle.
anyway because they designed kitchen clocks um, way back then actually are meant to be on the wall but this one is not a wall model this one is a table model that's the matter in fact but anyway this is all the depth look of my 1906 um, William L Gilbert clock company kitchen clock Navy number 24 um, kitchen clock so I hope you guys like this post on Facebook, Instagram, and also YouTube. And I hope I, I'll see you guys later. And I'll, and you guys have a good night. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.